today we're going to talk about overcoming anxiety. Talking about anxiety and just by uh, way of introduction, you know, uh, anxiety is an emotion which all of us face. Uh, none of us are ex exempt from that, you know, as it's a normal part of our day-to-day -day lives. Uh, it's uh, expressed by feelings of uh, worry, apprehension, nervousness, uneasiness. All of us face that uh, to uh, uh, some measure. This kind of anxiety, of course, is temporary uh, and it is manageable. It's not overpowering. It's something we all handle. It's occasional. And this emotion of worry, of um, anxiety, becomes overpowering. It becomes excessive, too much to handle. Or it becomes prolonged. That means it's gripped you uh, beyond uh, this normal momentary uh, uh, kind of thing that we spoke about. Then that's when we'd say, okay, somebody has a disorder. This is not normal. It's beyond normal. We call it anxiety disorder. Today, what we want to do is to talk about biblical uh, uh, guidelines or biblical practices that will help us overcome anxiety. You see, the Bible makes it so clear that God makes perfect peace available to us. Our God who is Jehovah Shalom, the God who gives perfect peace. We have access to this. We, he's making it available to you and me in the middle of every situation, any situation that you and I might face. In the world, you are going to have tribulation. You're going to have these tumultuous times. You're going to have all these turbulence, all these things happening. But in me, you will have so we must learn, learn to live in perfect peace, even in the middle of the perfect storm. When, when, when anxiety and worry uh, dominates our lives, two things we must be aware of. One, worry produces nothing good. Worry is a silent killer. What I want to do is try to capture five practices from the scriptures that will help us conquer and calm our minds. It's just number one is to pray, let go, let God. So when the thought comes and when you're going through those situations where anxiety and worry uh, and apprehension seems to, you know, uh, crawl and web itself across your mind, your emotions, pray. Release whatever that you're being anxious about. Release it to God. And then let God deal with it. Second principle or practice that we engage in is to focus on God and his promises. Focus, put your attention on God and his promises. So while this troubling thought comes on your mind, you say, no, I'm not going to focus on the thought. I'm not going to focus on this matter. I'm not going to focus on the situation. I'm not going to focus on the people. I'm not going to try to wrap my mind around this thing I don't even understand, forget it. I'm going to focus my thought on God and his promise. Number three, what do we do? Declare his word aloud. When God says meditate in my word, he's saying, you know, you speak my word silently. Speak it. Say it to yourself. Enough for you to hear. You don't have to shout it out for everybody else. <laughs> it's for you. You are meditating. So you silently speak that word. You speak it out. Speak it out loud. Loud enough for you to hear. Number four. How do we overcome anxiety and worry? Jesus taught us to take one day at a time. So Jesus, don't try to solve tomorrow's problems today. Don't try to run tomorrow's race today. Tomorrow's race, you can only run tomorrow. Run today's race. Handle today's problem. When you're dealing with the issues or the problems, the difficulties, take it one day at a time. Amen? Last one. Number five is share your burden. Sometimes we just need to do some practical things to help us. One of the simplest things we can do is to talk to someone who will listen. Sometimes you may need to delegate, declutter, relinquish, just to be in that place where you're free from unnecessary anxiety, worry, and stress. So, 
Let's review before we close. How do we conquer and calm our mind? Five things. Let's say that together. Number one, pray. Let go. Let go. Number two, focus on God and his promises. Number three, declare his word aloud. Number four, take one day at a time. Number five, share your burden. Amen.